My name is Alex Dutcher. I am lead biologist and co-owner of Halux Ecosystem Restoration. I presented on feral cat genetics and movement ecology on the island of Kauai. We used samples from five different sites, three of them in the uplands, so Kokei State Park, Alakai Swamp, and Hononapali. And one was along the Nepali coast and another from various lowland sites looking at the genetic makeup of the cats from these sites, about a 200 sample protocol. Um, and we found that they're all really related and there's a lot of movement between them. Vertebrate Pass Conference for us is a really great way to make contact with folks who are doing similar work in different environments. It's an awesome opportunity for us to learn techniques, talk about the work that we are doing, the research that we're doing, how it can help other people in similar or different environments. Um, it's a great way to catch up with folks in the industry and get up to date on technology that's being used uh, that we are not aware of yet or that we haven't uh, used on our projects yet. Um, so it really keeps us fresh, keeps us up to date, um, and helps us then in turn uh, keep everyone else abreast of what we're, what we're up to in the Hawaiian Islands. Our genetic data has shown that they migrate from the lowlands to Koke State Park and then from Koke State Park up into the Hono Nepali Reserve. And the second source of population is from the Nepali coast directly. There is a natural barrier being the Nepali coast and the steep cliffs that um, are present, but there still seems to be a fair amount of ingress from the Nepali directly. Uh, but the majority of those cats are coming from Koke State Park proper. For controlling feral cats in the Huda Nepali Reserve mostly revolve around um, a mixer, mixture of trap types. We use tomahawk traps, single door and double door. Uh, double door come in handy because the, the vegetation um, is so dense that trails are a, a, a novelty. Um, and so a lot of animals use these trails, the birds, the cats, and so we use the double door tomahawks to close off those trails um, and, and catch the cats before they get into the colony. We have a lot of data to show that what we are doing is actually making an impact. Even in this open system, expanding our feral cat control in recent years outside of the Hona Nepali proper has greatly reduced the number of cats in, in the reserve. So we went from 42 cat, individual cats detected in 2018 to only 13 cats detected in 2019. Um, and that is mostly due to control outside the Hona Nepali impacting the colony directly. Um, so we think that there is hope for the future and uh, there's a lot of really motivated people outside of our organization who care about, care about conservation, care about the seabirds um, and want to keep cats inside and, and ed educate everyone on the importance of our native ecosystems. Um, and uh, so yeah, I, I do believe that there's hope for the future. There's a lot of people looking for solutions. Um, we do have a small Facebook page and uh, in a little humble Instagram <laughs> with some really nice pictures of our field sites, pictures of traps, of our folks. Um, so our website is halix-eco.com and our Instagram handle is halix underscore eco. E-C-O.